Hello friends, uh, we're going to talk about uh, data handling in this session. So now let's first of all understand what is data handling all about. A collection of numerical facts or information about some objects or events under study is called data. So whatever we want to study whatever object or events that we want to study a collection of numerical facts or information regarding that is called data now say for example we want to study the height and weight pattern of students in your class so all the data that we collect for all supposing you have 40 students in your class and we collect the height and weight of each of those 40 students now that information that numerical data that we have that numerical fact that we have is called the data of the class regarding the height and weight of the students similarly the rainfall and temperature variations in the past few months or past few years that is again data so these facts put together constitute the data now to make this data useful and informative we need to organize and retain it systematically and that is called data handling say for example now we have the weight and height pattern of the all the students in your class so that means we have 80 numbers we have 40 students so we have height of 40 students and weight of 40 students so we have 80 numbers in all now if we do not arrange them properly if we do not organize them and keep that information if we just keep those 80 numbers now that data is useless for us because till the time we specify the name of the student, we specify that this is the height, this is the weight, this is the class that they are in, that data may not have any significance at all. So we are saying if we need to organize and retain it systematically to add value, to become useful and informative for us and that is called data handling. The science of collecting, organizing and analyzing the, the data is called statistics. So this science which deals with collecting all the information, organizing them, analyzing them properly, this is all, this science which is dealing with all these things is called statistics. Now why do we want to do that? Why do we want to collect that data and then organize and um, arrange it systematically? what is the use of doing that data handling so let's understand its uses now as we just said that statistics is a science of organizing and dealing with the uh, analyzing the data that branch is very useful in making patterns and planning the future tasks so the important thing is why would I want to keep that data if that information is not useful for me why would I want to collect data for the past few years, the rainfall and temperature data for past few months or past few years and then, you know, uh, make patterns out of it if it is not of any use to me, if it is not giving me any value today. So the important thing is that it is actually helping us in planning our future tasks or future arrangements. So an example, we will take a few examples. Now supposing we, we know the number of students which are taking up different sports. So we have, say for example, we have four or five sports in, our, um, in an academy, which is like cricket is there, tennis is there, basketball and um, badminton. And a few sports are there. So if the academy analyzes how the trends are changing, how the number of students taking up a particular sport is increasing or decreasing, then the sports academy can make arrangements according to the trends. So if you find out that, okay, in cricket, the number of students are now increasing. In tennis, it is remaining almost the same. In basketball, the students are again more or less the same. In badminton, they're probably again increasing. So now based on that, they know that they need to get the, their infrastructure updated according to the new needs so they need to arrange for 
all of these things like space equipment etc and they need to figure out the cost and plan for that expenditure so that is where statistics helps us now another very very commonly uh, seen example is when when there's a match happening say for example a cricket world cup is happening or a tennis uh, match is happening we generally see in the newspapers or on the tv sports channels we normally see that they always give up all the data give out all the data saying there have been so many matches between these two teams in the past the, this many number of matches have been won by one team this many uh, matches won by the other team how many were draw and you know this team won the um, the toss then what will the what were the results like and we get all that kind of data this is called statistics so we get statistics about a lot of things in this playground in this uh, stadium how many matches were played and what were the results whose favor had the results been so those things help in predicting the most likely results of the matches and it is not just predicting the results of the matches it also uh, helps the organizers the 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 team to to basically see their strengths and weaknesses and work upon them that you know okay against this team this is how our statistics looks like looks like so you can plan for a lot of things based on those things so again similarly when when it comes to weather forecast it is like you know uh, the met department will see that under these conditions it is likely to rain so they will see study the pattern today and they'll see okay looking at the past data if this these conditions were there this much of humidity this uh, much of temperature and other wind conditions and all so if they know that these conditions how many times has it rained in the past so that will give them a a figure as to this much percentage possibility is there so they'll say 60% likely that it'll rain today so that is again based on the statistics that they have from the past so this is where the study is very very important because it it just does not it's not that it just gives you the past data it basically helps you in planning for your present and future activities friends i hope you enjoyed the session if you find it useful please like it and share it with your friends you can visit us at our cool smart learning website and post your queries there and please subscribe to the cool smart learning channel for getting updates on the new sessions thank you